Dear Ali, with all the talk of recession and the market cooling, why is it still a seller's market? That's a good question. As we hear all this talk about the real estate market cooling off from the peak frenzy we saw during the, the pandemic, um, you might be questioning what that means for you and your plans as a seller if you're thinking about selling. Um, if you're thinking about making a move, you should know that this market is anything but normal, still very volatile. Um, and even though the supply of homes for sale has been growing, which it has, um, there's still a shortage of homes on the market. And that means the conditions continue to favor sellers. Um, that's because the level of inventory of homes for sale can help determine if buyers or sellers are in the driver's seat, basically. Um, think of it like this. A buyer's market is when there are more homes for sale than there are buyers looking to buy. When that happens, the buyers are in the, no the driver's seat, they have a negotiation power, and the sellers are more willing to compromise um, so that they can still get their home sold. A seller's market is just the opposite. There are too few homes available for the number of buyers that are looking, so the buyers start getting excited and that gives the sellers a little bit more leverage. Um, in that situation, the buyers will do what they can do to compete for the limited number of, of homes for sale. Um, and for the past two years, we've been in a red hot seller's market. Uh, because inventory has been near record lows. Um, so what does that mean for you? Well, let's see, a friend of mine, Michael Mayer, he gave a perfect, I think a perfect summary of what's been happening in today's market. He said that we were speeding along at 90 miles an hour and then slowing to about 60 miles. That could feel like coming to a stop. That kind of power speed is what the real estate market was doing. Uh, 40 offers in 24 hours, impossible to get a house. Yeah, it was exhilarating, but wild. Um, so when everything calmed down a bit, we started hearing things like, oh no, the sky is falling, the market is slow. Um, no, I mean, no, we took the car from 90 to 60. We didn't just stop in the left lane. Um, overall, another summary that I like is that we're moving from a gangbusters seller market to a modest seller's market. Not a bad place to be. Conditions still favor sellers, even though the market is normalizing. So yes, buyer demand is softening, due to the higher high end mortgage rates, of course, uh, but homes that are priced well are still selling fast. Um, that means your window of opportunity to list and sell your house hasn't closed. Um, bottom line, in today's housing market, even though it favors sellers, things are shifting. And if you're ready to sell your Summit County property, let's connect so we can start making your best moves. You can buy, you can sell, and we can help.